quadrilaterals. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn to identify and describe the different kinds of quadrilateral, which are square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Let's begin. We have here a treasure. Let's take a look what's inside this treasure. There you go! What can you observe? We can see that these objects have four sides, which are examples of quadrilaterals. But wait, do you know what quadrilateral means? The term quad in quadrilateral means four, while lateral means sides. Therefore, it means that the quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. For example, we have here four line segments. If we combine this to form a figure, we can form a quadrilateral, which we can see this figure has four sides. And as we combine these line segments, we also create four angles. Here we can see that this figure has four right angles or four 90-degree angles which total to 360 degrees. Therefore, remember that the quadrilateral has a total of 360 degrees. Quadrilaterals are classified according to the length of its sides and the measure of its angles. Now that you know some basics, let's explore different kinds of quadrilateral. First up, we have here a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral which opposite sides are equal. One pair of opposite sides are the widths, while the other ones are the lengths. We can also observe that these opposite sides are parallel to each other. Remember from our past video that parallel are those that do not intersect. Lengths here are parallel to each other, and the widths are also parallel to each other. And lastly, all of the four corners are right angles. Now let's try to change the measure of its length like this. Do you know what quadrilateral is this? If you said square, you are right. In a square, all of its sides are equal. And like the rectangle, its opposite sides are parallel. And it also has four right angles. Let's go to the next one. This time, let's experiment a bit by changing its angles. Like this. There you go. Can you guess what quadrilateral is this? It is a rhombus. A rhombus like square has four equal sides and its opposite sides are also parallel. The only difference is that its angles are not right angles, but we can see that its opposite angles are equal. Which means if one angle is 70 degrees, its opposite angle will be 70 degrees. If the other one is 110 degrees, the opposite angle will be 110 degrees. But still, if we add the measures of the four angles, it will still sum up to 360 degrees. Now let's go to the next one. This time, let's try to stretch this rhombus like this. There! Now this is a parallelogram. A parallelogram, like rhombus, has equal opposite angles, and which opposite sides are equal and parallel. Awesome! Now let's go to the last one. Now this time, let's try to change the measure of only one side and an angle. Let's see what happens. There! We have formed a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides, which is different from the other quadrilaterals we have learned earlier that have two pairs of parallel sides. 
Here we can see that the top and the bottom sides of this figure are parallel to each other. Now we learn the different kinds of quadrilaterals which are rectangle, square, rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. Great job students, you made it this far. Now here are the things that you learned today.